10 living fossils. Number 10. The Ula Painted Frog. This creature hadn't been seen since 1955 and was declared extinct in the wild in 1996 by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, likely due to its habitat being destroyed. But over 50 years later, in 2011, one of the creatures was spotted by a park ranger in its native habitat of the Ula Valley in northern Israel. Not much is known about the animal since so few specimens have ever been found by researchers. Identified by its dark belly covered with white spots, the frog is considered a living fossil because it has evolved so little over time. In 2016, populations of several hundred painted frogs were discovered, and it's thought that environmental improvements in the Ula Reserve might be a reason for the frog's re-emergence. Number 9. Laotian Rock Rat. Not the most user-friendly name, but that's a creature known from the fossil record, but thought to be extinct in the modern world until they suddenly pop up, seemingly from nowhere. The Rock Rat made its first appearance in the fossil record over 32 million years ago, but 11 million years ago, the rat pulled a disappearing act when it vanished from the fossil record, and no one seems to know why. Apparently, it's been around the whole time. A live specimen was captured, videotaped, and photographed by researchers in 2006. Now, as one might expect, these animals are native to Laos and generally grow about 16 inches long, including the tail, and weigh 14 ounces. Because of its thick, furry tail, it's sometimes called a rat squirrel. Number eight. Red Panda. Despite its name, this creature isn't closely related to the giant panda, although they did share a common ancestor tens of millions of years ago, and both animals do like to snack on bamboo. Hailing from the eastern Himalayas and southwestern China, the red panda has previously been placed in the bear and raccoon families. But recent molecular DNA research slots the red panda into its own family, connected to a broad superfamily that includes raccoons and weasels. Fossils of the red panda have been located in Southeast Asia, Europe, and at the Gray Fossil Site in Tennessee. A red panda tooth at that site dates back some seven million years ago. These animals are arboreal creatures and are somewhat larger than a domestic cat. With a population under 10,000, these animals are considered an endangered species. Number seven. Koalas. Along with the kangaroo, these marsupials are one of Australia's best-known animal ambassadors. Even though they appear pretty stoic, koala bears have been around for at least 20 million years, even though fossils of the critters tend to be rare. Of course, they're not really related to bears. Koalas are the only living member of the family. Koalas are known for sleeping 20 hours a day and maintaining a steady diet of eucalyptus leaves. Number six big wasps. So here's an insect that suffered from a case of mistaken identity. In the 1920s, a fig wasp fossil dated 34 million years old was found, but incorrectly cataloged as an ant. When the fossil was reanalyzed in 2010, its true identity was finally revealed. It was a fig wasp, a species still existing, but little changed over tens of millions of years. Interestingly, both fig trees and fig wasps have evolved together for more than 60 million years. Did you know that fig wasps can travel 100 miles in just two days. That's farther than any other insect. Number five, the Nautilus. Now, we're not talking about Captain Nemo's ship or exercise equipment for that matter. This Nautilus is a marine mollusk that has basically stayed the same for the past half billion years, give or take. These creatures first appeared during the late Cambrian period and later became a group of sea predators. They're the last remaining cephalopods with a bony body structure that externalizes as a shell, unlike octopus and squid, their distant relatives. The Nautilus is actually closer to cephalopods that first appeared 500 million years ago than to the more modern creatures that showed up some 100 million years later. Number four, the what scene. These birds engender some debate because the evolutionary tree seems to be missing a few branches, so to speak. About the size of a pheasant, they usually have a total length of 26 inches and are usually found in swamps and mangroves of South America's Amazon and Orinoco Delta. Debate about the animal stems in part from certain characteristics that aren't found in other birds. For example, the chicks of the Huatzin have claws at the ends of the wings, which helps them to climb up and cling to trees. Because the creature is so distinct, it's actually 
actually been given its own family. Genetic research conducted in 2015 revealed the what seen to be the sole surviving member of birds that flew off in their own direction some 64 million years ago. Number three. Alligator snapping turtle. All right, so we're gonna admit this up front. This picture you're looking at is photoshopped. The lady in the green pants has been seen in the same pose in that same exhibit with different animals digitally inserted in the display window. So that said, it seems to be an alligator snapping turtle the lady is looking at. Maybe she's fascinated by being face to face with a living fossil. With their beak-like jaws, spiked shells, and thick scaled tails, they still look like prehistoric creatures and, in fact, are often referred to as the dinosaurs of the turtle world. This reptile is one of the heaviest freshwater turtles on the planet, weighing around 176 pounds on average with a carapace or shell length of 31 inches. The biggest ever alligator snapping turtle was supposedly found in Kansas and weighed 403 pounds, but that claim was never verified. They're one of North America's largest freshwater turtles with lifespans up to 100 years. Given these animals have only one natural predator, that one predator is us. Humans capture these animals for their meat and shells, and that has led to alligator snapping turtles being listed as a threatened species. Number two. Goblin shark. No wonder they put a good old fashioned scare into people. Goblin sharks are ancient deep sea creatures, the last remaining member of a family around 125 million years old. It's easily identified by its pink skin, long flat snout, and its powerful jaws, which can essentially pop out of its mouth and tear into prey with its razor sharp teeth. The whole process looks like something from one of those alien movies. They stay shrouded in mystery even today because they prefer ice cold waters at depths up to 4,300 feet. Think you'd like to run into one? Number one. Crocodilia. This is an order of mostly large, semi-aquatic predatory reptiles that date back 84 million years ago to the late Cretaceous period. As you might expect, this order includes crocodiles, alligators, and various caiman families. The animals in this order are usually solidly built with elongated flattened snouts with ears, eyes, and nostrils found at the tops of the heads. Other common characteristics include thick skin covered in scales, peg-like teeth, and a powerful bite. And they are largely carnivorous. Crocodilians can range in size from the smallest species, Cuvier's dwarf caiman, which grows under five feet long, to the largest species, the fearsome saltwater crocodile, which can measure up to 23 feet and weigh up to 2,600 pounds. Of all living reptiles, this animal is the biggest. This apex predator is the most widely distributed of any modern croc, found from eastern India to Southeast Asia to Northern Australia. They're considered the most dangerous living crocodilians to humans, and with the strongest bite force ever recorded, it's no wonder why. 